Hi, I'm Joshua Kieser, and today I'm going to be making tuna and caviar parfait. This is a recipe that I posted on Shaman McGuire's live journal as part of a contest for winning an advanced reader copy of An Artificial Night. It's an amazing book. I definitely recommend you read the series. Enough about the book for the moment. Um, this recipe was submitted as a recipe for Tybalt's favorite. I think that a, any dessert that involves caviar and tuna is going to be incredibly popular amongst the Kate Chi. So let's get started. I've already got the ingredients set up here. We've got... I'm going to walk around so that you can see the ingredients. Thank you. For ingredients, we have one cup of cream, two tablespoons of sugar, two cans of tuna and tuna water, caviar lump fish roe, and catnip for garnish. Now, first step, you take one cup of cream, two tablespoons of sugar, and tuna water. Well, there's also something else that we're missing in this ingredient here. We're missing cats. So allow me to cast a little spell. You hear that? Yeah. While I'm getting this set up, perhaps I should go through the cast of characters. Here we have Herc. Hi Herc, say hi to the camera. And Risu. Hi Risu. And Puff. You might see Pixel, but probably not. Puff is not allowed to have this food. Puff is on a strict, no specific kind of meat diet. This is mostly going to be for Risu and Herc. Um, Risu, by the way, currently has a nickname of Spike because she behaves more like a rose goblin than a cat. Waking me up at 6 in the morning with her claws. How wonderful. Alright, now that I have separated the tuna water from the tuna, I'm going to wash my hands here. I'm going to mix in that. Oh, that looks absolutely scrumptious. And I'm going to walk past the landline kitties. Look at this. Doesn't that look like the most scrumptious meal in the world? Actually, I was supposed to whip that. Somehow I'm supposed to fold in the tuna and the caviar, but that's not really getting thick enough. So I have a sneaking suspicion that this is not going to turn out to be the best dessert in the world. Maybe if I was able to afford a world class chef. You guys want that? Yep. This is my pathetic attempt at folding. I don't think Herc particularly cares how it's served as long as he gets it immediately. Now the trick, assuming you can actually get it to fold right, which I really wasn't able to do, is to go layers. So I've got a layer of caviar and cream on top of a layer of tuna. Yeah. On top 
top of another layer of tuna. And garnish. Oh, got a little bit more. Let's top it off. And garnish with a tiny bit of catnip. Here, Puff. You can have some catnip if you want. And voila! Two wonderful dishes of tuna and caviar parfait. Our two very spoiled kitties.